everyone, for today's video I have a full Super Namekian God themed moveset or rather a character build. Now this was kind of in some way suggested by I'm a Gohan183 so thank you ever so much for this suggestion. Again if you guys have any moveset themed suggestions or character builds please feel free to leave them in the comments and the best ones will be used for future videos. And of course if you are new to the channel then why not subscribe as that really does help me out and of course again <laughs> leave a like. So I'll go into this moveset we've got for our supers, maximum charge which I will replace, flash strike, light grenade and evil explosion, special beam cannon and hell zone grenade as our two ultimates, and for our transformation the guy says to use super saiyan or potential unleashed but I changed that to the giant Namekian transformation, and for our evasive we have super explosive wave. Now I did decide to kind of base this off the master media God pick up a transformation from his series Anime Wars because I just think it looks very badass. It looks very cool. So if you're also going to make this character, it doesn't really matter what colour you decide to pick for your default clothing because we're going to be changing them to Piccolo's clothing anyway. So again, pick whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. And finally, before we jump into the fight, keep in mind that because this is a new character, I mean I know I've said this before, but I still get a few comments anyway, so I might as well just repeat myself. Because this is a new character, I will be playing with limitations on, which means everyone, myself included, will be set to level 50. And that being said, let's get into the first battle for this video. So I'll go into the first fight for this video, my first opponent is running the God of Destruction's Anger, and I must have not realised it because I... Yes, I just scanned this moveset and I did see he had it, but I must have forgot, so that sucks for me. But what's really good for me and will help me out a lot in this fight is that he tends to go for the back hit at the exact same time every time, so... Again, that's just going to be really easy for me to get a perfect block off like right there. I think that was the second time I vanished and the second time I went to the back hit and, you know, I've, I've perfect blocked it both times so far, so that's going to really help me. And right there again, I went for the vanish, I knew it was going to go for the back hit at the same time. Got a perfect block off, that, so that's free for free at the moment and that's broken the guard. Looking back, that probably wasn't the wisest thing to do because I have, like, what, five bars of stamina anyway. But I do go for the special beam cannon there thinking it might hit him, it doesn't. And I don't know what he's doing here, he's just like blocking, maybe thinking I'm going to rush into him and if he can get like a perfect block off, I don't know. So I do go for the throw and that sends him flying down and I did try and hit him with the flash strike but no, that completely failed. And also I did replace maximum charge with the darkness eye beam I think it's called, it's like one of the Lord Slugs attacks because I just think it really fits with this moveset. And I said it before, I don't necessarily need maximum charge, but right there, you know, if, <laughs> God, he sent me flying down and went for the God Destruction's Anger. And it went for this super vanishing ball, and you can see, like, I am glad this is in the mechan because I will recover some health. But now I'm just thinking, okay, I need to really start kicking his ass now. So he, he tried to offer it again there, but I use my base, so that's like three bars of stamina used. He goes for super Vegeta 2 there. I break his guard because, like, I need to at this point. And I'm just unleashing a bit of a combat on him. I don't want to use too much stamina because if he goes for the God of Destruction's Anger again and I have less than 3 bars of stamina then I'm going to be completely screwed. So I did decide to finish that off with the Special Beam Cannon and now my goal, well my aim rather, is to make sure that I make him use a lot of his stamina because that's going to be the key to winning this. You can see right now we have roughly the same amount of health and if I can just maintain my health and not take any more damage then soon I'll have more health than he does given I'm an Amekin so I'll recover some. And you can see I really do need that given what happened just in the fight where he took like what over 50% of my total health. I'm not sure how much it was but he did really wreck me there. So again because I know where he's going to go for the back here I've got a perfect block up there and in a moment he's going to have two bars of stamina to vanish. But I do send him down and go for the special wing cannon. It misses because he just moves out of the way. Again another perfect block up there and that's going to be game. God damn, that was really tough given what his strategy was. But because of that, it was kind of fun. So that being said, let's go into the next fight for this video and the second fight against this guy. So going to the second fight, we both get the same moveset and I did really want to finish him off with the Namekian throw or rather the giant Namekian squeeze. But the problem with that is that if I fail doing that, I'll have my stamina broken unless I drop out of it. Given I only have 5 bars of stamina to begin with, I may as well use the giant Namekian form while I have max stamina and use it until it breaks my guard. So that way I can do maximum damage. So again, I'm not going to, well, I don't think I do against this guy. But yeah, I'd love just to finish this guy by squeezing him given he's got the God Destruction's Anger. Whatever, but right here, he gets me in the basic heavy combo for my Sands, and I was going to evade it, well, vanish out of it rather, but I do really, really need to conserve my stamina against this guy given what his strategy seems to be. So right here, I go for the Hell Zone Grenade. Don't really know why, because he does block it and he takes like minimum damage, and I just wasted three bars of Q doing that, so my bad. 
I do think I got for again in a moment when I meant to go off for this special beam cannon. And I've said this before, but one of the problems, well, I say problems, it's not really, it's whatever, is that because I do these videos pretty much every single day, I'm constantly using different movesets, so I can't really memorize them that fast. Bit of a problem, whatever, I'm sure I'll get used to it. Well, I'm sure I'll become more efficient at it in the future. But a little bit ago, I did break his guard and now it's fully recharged, so it's got max stamina, max key, and quite a lot of health compared to, well just a lot of health in general, but that being said, I do make him manage to get a few purple blocks off here, so he now has, you know, no, well right now he's got no stamina, so that is good for me, but again, I just need to make sure he doesn't hit me with God's Shrewd's Anger, he went for it there, I'm glad he just ran out before it hit me, because if that hit me there, I would probably be in a lot of trouble. So, here I catch him and I send him flying down with a Namekian combat, I can't remember which one it is, and I did try and go over the special beam cannon thinking it would, you know, actually hit him, but no, he just hit the, uh, the stairs in the audience, so whoops. I got for the darkness eye beam there, didn't work, I got for the evil explosion, I think it was, followed up with the light grenade, or, you know, I may have mixed those two names, so I can't remember, but there, damn it, it gets me in another God Destruction's anger by doing the same combo. My stamina recovers in enough time, so I go for the super explosive wave evasive. Thankfully, that was able to, you know, soften the blow, I guess. And from this point now, I do really need to start, you know, forget the game, just really beat him. So I do break his guard. I sent him flying down here, well, again with the combo. When he gets up, he just steps into the special beam cannon, kind of, and that thankfully, thankfully finished him off. So with that being said, let's move on to the third fight for this video. So going to the next fight, my opponent is, of course, male same, because why not? And I would say he's running to some extent a bit of a gimmicky moveset because he's got the Freezer Supernova, which is just too slow to really be effective. If you can change it up to use a uh, Cooler Supernova, that's just much better and he's got the Stardust Breaker, I think it was. I did break his guard pretty early on, I can't really remember what I did, like I know he vanished and I got a few perfect blocks off, but yeah. So I sent him flying down there and the Special Beam Cannon did hit him at the very end, so like we're like what, not even 30 seconds in and I've done a ton of damage on him. I still have max health and I've made him, well I've broken his guard a few, well I've broken his guard once rather and again like, I'm just in a very good place right now. I do believe I got for the giant Nimek in form later on because I don't think I've used that at all yet for a video. Right there he went for the Soul Punisher, I moved out of the way and got for the Darkness Eye Beam. It almost hit him, I wish it did because that would have just looked so cool I think. I oh, vanished there and he vanished as well but sent him flying back a bit, I don't know what it was, maybe some sort of glitch, don't really care to be honest, I mean, whatever. He goes for the death wave there, I think it was, did hit me, and he doesn't know how to go off the back hit, so I can kind of use that to my advantage. I was thinking against this guy, maybe a good technique to use, or a good strategy, would be to use the Anticipation Fist. So I may use that in a little bit, right there I broke his guard for the second time in this fight, and I'm like what, uh, 1 minute 20 seconds in, so I go for the giant mech in form. I get him in a throw here and I wasn't too sure if I'd be able to do it because you can see I have no stamina. So that means if you already have your opponent in the grab, the squeeze, whatever, and your stamina runs out, you won't actually revert back to your base form until you finish it. So maybe you could use that at the very end, like maybe, I don't know. But here I go for the jump to make him form again. I hit him a few times and I go for the throw. And I think this will be a cool shot in a minute, like right there, close up of his face. Just thought that was very cool and that was enough to face that guy off. So let's move on to the final fight for this video. So this time a pawn who's running Giant Storm, which that's always going to be a bit tricky to deal with, and he's running Serious Bomb, and you just don't that being used because it's just broken in the sense that it doesn't work. Like I think he hits me with it, or tries to hit me with it, and I was just kind of laughing because I know how bad it is from like my past video, so there's that. But with Giant Storm, well again I just need to be careful. Although it does have a very specific timing to perfect block it, which I just tend to find not easy, but you know, easy to deal with in other attacks. You do need to be very careful and like on your game to do it. So I did go for a stamina reset there, thinking I could easily get away with it, and I kind of can because he goes for the serious bomb, sets me flying away, and the key blast hits me once, and I I just fly down, well drop down rather. It's so bad. It needs to be fixed, man. It really does. It's like a cool looking attack, but it's just terrible. It was pretty cool in Xenoverse One, but in Xenoverse Two, it just gets completely nerfed. Well, not even nerfed. It's just it just doesn't work. So yeah, in a moment he sends me flying away, like right here, and I do get a perfect blocker for the moment, yeah right there, I thought that was very nice, that broke his guard, so I went for the darkness eye beam, and I finished it off with the evil explosion, and then the flash strike, and here he goes for giant storm, I try and perfect block it, completely fail, he goes for the second one right here, and I get the timing completely wrong again there, like I'm just too early, but thankfully I did block it, rather than letting it hit me full on, so 
I mean, even though I blocked it, it still took a bit of damage. And like, for what it was, like, given I blocked it, it still took quite a bit of damage for something that you blocked. So I was there. He goes for a second gag on here, I think it is. And I get the perfect block up there. So I go for the giant to make him fall thinking I could finish him off here. I don't think I do because I just, well, I mean, you can see right now, my stamina, I've got like, what, just on the one bar now. So I did try and go for the throw as my giant mechanic form was to run out, but again, I was just too slow. He goes for Gag Gun there, or he may have been Gallic Beam Cannon, I'm not too sure, but yeah, it's the same thing really. I tried to go for the Flash Strike, missed, I went for it again, missed again. And even though I kind of got a stamina reset because, you know, I dropped out of the giant mechanic form, I only have like, what, just on, well, now it's like just over two bars. So, again, I really do need to manage it, and given right now, he's just going for the Gallic Beam Cannon, I think it is. I'm not too sure. It's like, it's Gallic Gun, let's be fair. I just need to be very careful, because yes, my health will recover, because I am in the mech in, but still, I'd rather not get hit with it. But thankfully, he got, like, what? Well, okay, I was going to say it's got no key, but now it's got almost three bars. So, again, I just need to be very careful here. Maybe I could tank it if I went to my giant mech in form, like, right there, he went for another one. So, I flew away, and I hit him, and thankfully... He had so little help, that was enough to finish him off. So that being said, thank you guys for watching the video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And that being said, I'll see you next time.